And I understand you've just had a, a hip replacement around 10 weeks ago. I think it was 10 or 11 weeks ago, yes. I had a full hip, full right hip replacement. And that was done at the Runnymede? It was done at the Runnymede uh, under the auspices of Mr Monk, the surgeon, and uh, very successful. Brilliant. And tell us a little bit about, about your condition before you had the operation. Uh, well, I'm probably quite fortunate that I didn't suffer huge degrees of pain, but my hip was 100% arthritic and uh, everybody kept telling me I should be in a lot of pain, but I think I'd managed to sort of half block it out. But it restricted my mobility, I was struggling to walk up and down stairs, couldn't walk around a golf course, couldn't play tennis, and most of all, I couldn't get on my motorbike. That was becoming difficult or, or almost impossible. impossible? Absolutely, could not do it at all. Um, I could stay on the bike for about three minutes before I started to yelp. It was then getting very painful. Um, it's funny how just different movements would suddenly really start to hurt. Well, I'd been to my doctor. Um, he'd batted me into um, the NHS version, version of or adjoining Runnymede, the, the Runnymede Hospital, St Peter's. But I hadn't done anything about it. So I then decided that I wanted to start to be done when I wanted it to be done. So and I've had private medicine for a long time. So uh, I researched it and came up with Mr. Monk. Uh, then I went to meet him. Uh, he found it to be very charming um, and reassuring individual who had done numerous operations, did so many a week, uh, all the things you're supposed to try and find out. Uh, and he seemed to tick all the boxes, so I agreed it uh, with him, and uh, we agreed a date, and that was about it, really. And then, so post-operatively, you you you've you've back to playing golf, I understand, already. Yes, I walked round St George's Hills Golf Club uh, last week, and I was exhausted, but uh, the leg was perfect; it was absolutely fine. I would like to say something as well. Sorry pre the operation, um, I was very worried about going in for this, really did not want to do this at all. And um, Mr. Monk said to me he wanted it done under a spinal anaesthetic, not an epidural as the anaesthetist pointed out to me. Um, and I was said, no, I, I want to be unconscious. And they talked me into the spinal anaesthetic with a heavy sedative. <coughs> And the last thing I remember was saying to the anaesthetist, don't send me into the operating table, I'm still awake. Uh, and uh, the next thing was um, Mr Monk waking me up. And it really was as easy as that. Um, and I so regret not having it done a year or two earlier, or possibly even three or four years earlier. I was told to anticipate full recovery within six months, six to twelve months. Walking without crutches after six to eight weeks, uh, lots of physio, etc., um, etc. Et and I was walking without crutches after a week. Uh, I'd virtually stopped the painkillers after three weeks. Occasionally I'd have one, but um, generally it didn't hurt. Didn't hurt when I was walking. Um, but my recovery was unbelievably quick. I, I mean, I went to the running aid for the physiotherapy session. And the, I'd arrived before the physiotherapist, and uh, she said, "I walked to the walk into my room, which I got up and walked into the room." And she got she said, "Well, you can go. There's no point. There's nothing I can do to help you. You're walking perfectly." It, it, it was. It went, and my expectations were. Just, I couldn't understand why I'd worried so much, and I really mean that. I was, and I had worried. Mm.